My name is Adam and I'm with iPro Americas. Today I want to take you through a quick tutorial of the iPro Video Insight VMS product. Show you a little bit about the UI navigation, how to look at recorded video, live video, clipping of video. Also we'll get into views and maps and then show you a really quick introduction to how you can integrate access control into Video Insight, tying in those events to your video. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Uh, when we look at Video Insight and log in, uh, this is what we see in the UI. If we click on a camera on the left-hand tree, that'll take you right to the live video of that camera. In the bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see a blue button and this will take you to your recorded video. Here, you can left-click and drag the timeline to different points in time in the video uh, that's recorded. Uh, in the far left-hand corner, we have our player control, so we can pause, play, fast-forward, rewind, even step frame by frame. Uh, if we want to clip something in the bottom right hand corner, uh, we'll have the export video clip uh, button there. Here we have the start uh, date time picker and the end date time picker. So we can click on the calendar, pick a day and time uh, that we want to start and end our clip with. Once we've done that, we have a few other options uh, for exporting this video. We have the option of an AVI file, an EXE video, and an MPEG-4. Um, I'll quickly show you the EXE. Uh, this can be kind of valuable if you're wanting to uh, add a password uh, to that video for password protection. Uh, this also includes a player within that file as well, so no one needs a specific player in order to play the video. For general purposes, people typically tend to stay with the AVI file, but we do also have some uh, export options like showing timestamp or watermark. Uh, just remember, when you click one of these buttons or when you select one of these options, it does convert the video to an MJPEG format, and this could increase the time that it takes to clip the video and also increase the file size significantly uh, when using those features. Um, if we go down in the bottom left-hand corner, we also have an option there for views. These are customized views for your environment. Uh, different types of layouts for different cameras based on your needs and how you want to set that up. So we'll show you some examples here. Here we're clicking on a multi-sensor camera. So this is a four sensor multi-sensor camera. It shows you all four images. Um, here we have a uh, four sensors and a, a single PTZ. So it's a five camera layout <clears throat> or view. Um, so we'll go ahead and close that workspace from views. And now in the bottom left-hand corner, we'll go down to Maps. In Maps, we're able to import an image and then uh, click on our maps. When we go into Maps, it will show us a few things here where we can layer in uh, additional views, uh, additional maps, and also cameras. So we'll click on a map here that's layered on top of a map. And then we can click camera to camera to see live video in the upper right-hand corner um, and see what's going on in each of those images. Um, and as you click on different cameras, it just comes up with the different camera image in the right hand corner. We can go back to the previous map by clicking previous map in the upper right hand corner. This will take us back to our main map where we can choose from a variety of different things. So here we'll go to the employee entrance. We see a few cameras here in the employee entrance. Again, you can click on those cameras to see uh, different views, the live view in the upper right hand corner. Here's a 360 camera, so I go ahead and pop that out by clicking the arrow in the right hand corner. And this will pop out a live window pane for us. And I'll use this as an example with the 360 because I'll show you some of our advanced de-warping. Here, uh, you can click and drag or you can double click and it will dive down into that image and then you can drag around. And it's very similar to be almost like standing in that room to look around. Um, so this is what we call advanced de-warping and this is supported in the uh, iPro camera 360 line. And again, you can double click or left click and drag. Uh, it'll dive down into the camera <clears throat> as you uh, click around and, and play with that. So this is a very cool feature. Uh, a lot of people like this. You can also pop out the right hand pane to get some additional functionality like our quad PTZ mode. So this takes our 360, breaks it up into four images and each of those can be pan, tilted or zoomed uh, to a specific setting of whatever you're choosing is. So depending on that, what your environment is and how you want to set that up, uh, this will allow you to move each of those images around to see and then it'll save those images uh, for later use as well. So this is the second functionality with our 360 integration uh, into Video Insight. The last and final option is our uh, 
is our uh, panoramic, double panoramic. So this splits the 360 image into two screens and then we can left click and, and scroll that image across to see the 180 view uh, panoramic view. Um, and so again, this is our 360 and how we navigate through that. So moving on, uh, we'll go back to a previous map here and we will click on another layered map uh, for our, uh, or we'll click on our office map. This has our access control integrated. So that yet that uh, green square in the left-hand side, that's a door. When you click on that, it brings up our access control function. Here we have a legend that shows us if the door is locked, unlocked, open, or in an alarm status, or maybe even offline. We also have some door actions. So if you want to unlock the door, you click unlock, you'll see the icon change yellow. And that indicates that that door has now been unlocked. We can click schedule, it'll put it back into its regularly scheduled status, which is locked, and you'll see the door change back to green so that we know that that door is in a locked state. Um, again, we can click on different cameras throughout the map to show the live view in the upper right hand corner. So if you have an associated camera pointing at that door, and maybe it's an alarm status, you can click on the camera by there, and you can see if that door is being held open or there's some other alarm uh, that's causing that door to show up in a red alarm status. We also show the last entry. So if someone were to swipe their badge and have a photo associated, you're gonna see that. We also have the last alarm. So it shows you the last alarm details like access denied. On event history, this shows all the events that have come into this. We click the view button. This takes us back to recorded video and shows us that event happening uh, as it happened in recorded video. So here we saw someone swipe. We can pause, play, rewind, fast forward, or we can zoom in on the map or on the uh, timeline here uh, to get more granular. And then we can left click and drag to find different points in time to find exactly that event that happened. So here we're zooming in to get really granular down to the seconds. Uh, we'll left click and drag until we see the event. And so here we can see uh, the gentleman walking up to uh, swipe the badge. And that's what causes the event there that we're seeing. And that's the end of the quick tutorial here for Video Insights uh, version 7.10.